Maybe you're a new or existing business owner and you're searching for a beginner-friendly online store builder that you can use on your own to create an e-commerce website for free without needing to pay increasing monthly subscriptions. Well, if this sounds like you, then you've landed on the right DIY website building tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in this DIY website building tutorial for beginners, I'm gonna walk you through the process of how to create your own online store for free with Equid so that you can quickly and easily launch your website, list your products and start selling online within 10 minutes. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this e-commerce tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and create an online store for free with Equid. <music> Okay, so the purpose of today's e-commerce tutorial is to walk you through the process of creating a completely free online store using a powerful platform that's ideal for beginners called Equid by Lightspeed. Now, this platform not only allows you to create a completely free e-commerce website, but you can also create this online store and then integrate this online store through other platforms. You can embed your online store on other websites or you can simply connect your online store with other platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Etsy, Amazon, and more to reach more customers across the internet. Equid, in my opinion, is the best free e-commerce platform for beginners. Okay, so what we're gonna do is navigate over to pricing in the top right hand corner, and quickly navigate down and briefly discuss Equid's pricing plans. Over on the left hand side you can see that Equid offers a completely free plan which is more than sufficient enough for small businesses, startups and those just getting started with e-commerce. Now it's important to note that the free plan has a limit of 10 products meaning you can only list up to 10 products on your free online store. However, if your online store has more than 10 products, then you will need to upgrade to a premium plan, venture, business, or unlimited. And you can always upgrade to these premium plans at any stage when your business, when your brand outgrows the free plan over here. And you can see all the premium features down below each of these plans. You can also navigate down further to compare features to see more of the different features between each of the different plans. Now some of the key features that I want to mention again is with the free plan again you can only sell up to 10 products however you can create a free online store and you can actually add and embed your online store across other different websites and platforms. And you can only sell physical products with Equid's free plan. If you want to sell digital products, you will need to upgrade to a paid plan. Okay, so what we're going to do is navigate back up to the top. And when you're ready to get started, simply navigate up to get started for free and go ahead, click here, navigate through the simple step-by-step -step process of initially setting up your account. You'll simply be asked to add your business details add your business name and answer a few basic questions. Once you've done that, you'll be taken inside Equid. So what we'll do is go ahead and meet you inside Equid. Okay, so once you've quickly created a free Equid account and you've gone through the process of signing up, you'll be taken to your dashboard, which looks like this. As you can see, I've gone ahead and set up a completely fresh account for the purpose of today's tutorial. And the business we are using is a jewelry business called Gould and Garrett. This is just an example jewelry business for the purpose of today's tutorial. Okay, so first, before we go ahead and actually customize and create our storefront inside Equid, we first wanna add products to our website. To do that, simply navigate over to catalog and then click on products. And then under products, you can see that we have a list of sample products that have been added by default. What we're gonna do is go ahead and delete these products. We can delete products by simply navigating over here and selecting all of these 10 products and then clicking over on mass update and then clicking delete selected. We can also navigate over to delete all sample products and then click on yes. 
And just like that, you can see your product category is empty. We've gone ahead and deleted the sample products. Now to add a new product, simply navigate up to add new product. Now you can also bulk import products by uploading your products, importing products through a CSV file. This is ideal if you have lots of products and you want to upload them all at once. However, we're only using the free plan, which only allows us to add up to 10 products for free. So I'm gonna navigate up to add new product and add these products manually. This is also gonna show you how you can upload your products through the right process. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on add new product and then come down and the first thing we wanna do is upload images of our first product. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload a few photos of our first product. So I'm gonna navigate over and upload these photos and come down and click open. And once you've made any changes, simply navigate up to save. And as you can see, my images are still being uploaded, so all changes will save automatically when the upload is finished. Okay, so as you can see, I've got these five images here of a vertical bar necklace. This is my first product. So what I wanna do is come down and name this product, then once you've named your first product, navigate over to SKU. This is the stock keeping unit. This is gonna help you track your stock. If you have a stock keeping unit for your products, go ahead and add that in here. Then navigate over to weight and go ahead and add the weight of your product in kgs. I'm gonna add 0.1. And then come down and select if this requires shipping or pickup. If you're not too sure of the weight of your product, then just add a estimate here. Then navigate up to pricing and add the pricing point of your product and then come down and add your product description. And as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and added a brief description about this product. You can also access these different formatting options to further customize your description. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is navigate up to the top right hand corner and click on save. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and saved the changes for my first product. Now, if we navigate back down to pricing and click on manage pricing options, you can see these other options that we can access if we upgrade to a paid plan. For example, you can set a compare to price. This is going to entice your potential customers to purchase your product because they're gonna see a comparison in terms of a new sales price versus your regular price. We can also encourage higher purchases by bulk discounting prices. And then you can also enable pay what you want pricing. This is a donation type of payment. And for our jewelry brand, which we're using for today's tutorial, what we would do is enable bulk discounting pricing and also set a compare to price to encourage more conversions. However, again, this is only available with a premium plan. Now, if we navigate over to options and under options, what we can do is give our customers other options for this product. So for example, if we go ahead and click on add new option and then come down and add the option name, we're gonna call this colors and then navigate over to input type and I'm gonna click on drop down and then add new value. I'm gonna add three values and these are gonna be three different colors. We're first gonna have rose gold and we can modify the price over here. However, the price is going to stay the same. Then I'm gonna navigate up and click on add new value again and this is just gonna be gold and then one more value and this is gonna be called silver. And I'm happy with that. We can also add additional options or different options if we like. So I'm gonna navigate up and click on save. And just like that, I've gone ahead and saved my options for this particular product. So think about your different products that you want to list and do those products have different options. Think about the different sizes, colors, or types of the same product that you wanna add options for. Then what we're gonna do is navigate over to shipping and pickup. And this is where we can select and customize the shipping and pickup for this particular product. We can add the weight and dimensions of this product, and we can also select from these different shipping rates. We can use your store's shipping methods, which we have selected at the moment, and we're gonna talk more about this under shipping and pickup shortly. We can also select specify shipping methods for this product, fixed rate per item and free shipping. However, I recommend adding your custom shipping methods and selecting this option here. Again, we're gonna talk more about that shortly. Okay, so if we navigate back up to the top, we can also navigate over to related 
products. What we want to do is come down and enable this. And now this product's going to show the you may also like section on the bottom of this product page to promote other products and increase sales. You can select the products you want to show or keep this selected. Five random products from catalog. I'm happy with this, so I'm going to navigate up and click on save. Then navigate across to buy now button. And this is a cool feature that allows you to essentially embed this product directly on other websites. For example, if you had a blog, what you could do is you could embed your product into the sidebar of your website so people can make a purchase on another website. This is a great feature for you to not just have your products on your Equid website, but you can also embed your products across different websites simultaneously. And it's really easy to do. All you would do is click on embed product and then choose the type of layout that you want to show and then come down and click on appearance and you can customize the appearance and then click on generate code. And this is the code that you need to embed on the other website. However, I'm going to leave that for now and navigate up to back. And that's going to take us back to general. Now we've gone ahead and added our first product. What we can do is navigate over to add new product to add an additional product, or we can also duplicate this product. For example, if we had multiple products that were similar to each of the different products, then we can quickly duplicate the product and that's going to duplicate all the settings, the images, the descriptions, everything that we've added for this particular product so that you can only change a few sections to reflect the new product. Or what we can do is navigate back and that's going to take you back to your products page where you can see your list of products. Now for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm going to quickly go ahead and add two more products. So what you want to do is take the time, add your additional products before we move on to the next step. So again, follow the process I just guided you through for adding new products. Again, take your time. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone ahead and added two more products. Now, if we navigate over to the left hand side, you can see we have categories. You can actually create categories to organize your products. However, with the free plan, you only have access to 10 products. You can only list 10 products. So we're just going to leave categories for now. Then if we navigate down to sales channel, we have our website here, which we're going to customize shortly. And then these other channels to distribute our products across. However, the next important step to creating our online store is setting up payments. Go ahead and click on payment. And this is where you want to take the time to set up the different payment methods that your customers can use to purchase your products. At the moment, you can see that we have pay by cash enabled. We can disable this if we like. However, this is ideal if you're a local business, you sell products online. However, customers must come to you in order to pick up the product and then pay for that product in cash. Then if we navigate down, we have other online processing payment methods like Stripe. Simply come down and enable Stripe. Then come down and we have Afterpay. If you want to enable Afterpay, go ahead and take the time to enable Afterpay. Down here we have PayPal, which is the easiest to set up. If you have a PayPal account for your business, go ahead and enable PayPal. Then if we come down further, we can add manual payments and more down here. So again, what you want to do is take the time to select and choose the different payment options that you want to offer to your customers. And again, take the time to navigate through the process of connecting those payment options. It only takes a few clicks to set up these options. So I'm going to navigate down and quickly go ahead and enable PayPal by coming down and clicking enable PayPal. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and enabled PayPal. Now, what I'm actually going to do is navigate up to pay by cash and disable this payment option because we sell jewelry all around the world and some of our customers can't just come to us and pay by cash. We prefer people to pay online, even our local customers. So again, take the time to connect the different payment options. Then once you've done that, navigate over to shipping and pickup. Now, if you see this option up here, your payment methods are not available to customers, click this drop down, and we need to enable the ask for zip slash postcode option in settings. We can do that by clicking go to settings, and then come down and click enable. Ask for billing address and enable ask for zip code. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on save. Okay, so now that's sorted, what I'm going to do is navigate back over to dashboard and then navigate back down to shipping and pickup. 
Again here, what you want to do is take the time to add your shipping. Now, this is all dependent on your business and the type of shipping that you want to offer your customers. I'm going to go ahead and quickly add a shipping type for all our customers. I'm going to go ahead and set up New Zealand Post because we're a New Zealand business. You might see other options here and then we're going to offer free shipping because the shipping price is included in our product price. And then I'm going to come down and click on save and finish. And as you can see, the free shipping method has been added. What we're going to do is click on back. And again, you can come down and add other shipping options if you like. I'm happy with this for now. Now what we can do is navigate back over to the left hand side and click on settings and then click on general. Here you want to make sure that all this information is correct. So make sure that your company address is correct. Add that information in there. Add your social media accounts. And then down here we can also go ahead and close our storefront for maintenance at any time. So at the moment our storefront is open. Let's say that you wanted to further customize your online store. You're not ready to actually sell your products online. Then you can go ahead and close your storefront for maintenance for now and you can always open it at any time. Okay, now if we head back over to our left hand sidebar and click on apps, what you can also do is integrate different apps into Equid. Now for those that want to engage in drop shipping, what you can do is actually integrate with drop shipping apps so that you can sell products from other websites like Alibaba, AliExpress, and then sell those products directly through your e-commerce website, your Equid store. And there are many other different types of apps within marketing, store design, drop shipping, catalog, order management, shipping, counting, and more down here. Okay, so now that we've talked about the fundamentals to actually setting up our e-commerce website, what we want to do is start customizing our e-commerce store, our storefront. To do that, what we're going to do is navigate up to website and then simply navigate over to site appearance and click on edit. And this is our default online storefront. This is exactly what our website will look like online. If we navigate up to the top, we have our store about location and contact us section. If we navigate down, we can see all these different sections on our single page website. Now I'm going to show you exactly how we can customize our online store. First, what we want to do is navigate over to themes and click here. This is where we can choose the type of theme that will work best for our business. I'm going to navigate over to jewelry and click here and that's going to generate jewelry themes. Now I like the look of this template here so I'm going to click here and that's automatically going to install this new theme. We can go ahead and scroll through this theme. I'm happy with that and then navigate over to the left hand side. This is where we can edit the sections of our website. So if I click on edit and cover image, we can go ahead and change the headline. I'm going to change this to my business name. And then I can come down and add a description if I like, which is going to replace this content here. If we come down, we can choose the different layouts for this page. So I can go ahead and click this one if I like, right hand sidebar, left hand sidebar. I can click on top menu, uh, half screen. I'm happy with full screen. I like the look of this. We can also change the background here. Then we can choose to disable this call to action button, which is this shop now button here. We can also change the label of this button. Then we can come down and change and customize the typography store logo. If we click on store logo, we can go ahead and upload the store logo here. We can also add a scroll arrow. We can disable this if we like. And then we have the top menu. Again, we can customize this if we like. We can choose to not show on a phone or we can show in header, show on cover. We have all these different options. Social media links, we can choose to show and add our social media links, the ones that we added in our general settings. We can also show location, show business hours, and we have more information down here. As you can see, it's really easy to customize each of the different sections. Again, we can come down and click on store. And we can choose the different sizes. I'm going to select medium that looks more clean. We can choose the thumbnail ratio. I'm going to go ahead and click one by one. And then we have these other options down here. I'm happy with this. Once saved, I'm going to go ahead and click back. And then we can come down and we can change the company's mission. Again, this is the content that you can see over here that we can simply change the way that we like. You can choose to disable or show these different sections. So I'm happy with that for now. I'm just going to exit out of that. 
And again, you want to take the time to go through each of these different website sections. You can also come down and arrange the sections by simply dragging each of the different sections above or below a different section. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and click apply and then click on save. Then we can navigate over to these three lines. We can come down and we can view the website or we can go back to our store dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and click back to store dashboard. As you can see, Equid makes it super easy for anyone to quickly customize their website in just a few minutes. Now, what we can also do is embed our online store, our storefront, across other different website platforms. So for example, if we navigate back over to website and click here, then navigate down and locate, add your store to one more website. Go ahead and click on pick platform. And as you can see, what we can do is sell on your website. So if you have an existing website, maybe it's a WordPress website, a Wix, Webly, or other type of website, Squarespace, Google Sites, or other, what we can do is add an online store to any website you have. Equid blends in seamlessly into all the web pages, letting you start selling online on an existing website in minutes. And what I've done is created a previous tutorial that guides you through the process of using Equid to embed your online store into another website. This tutorial, which I'll add up above and down below in the description, will show you the process of adding an Equid online store into Google Sites. So embedding the online store directly inside a different website builder. In this case, it's Google Sites. This means you can use Equid for free to sell across other free platforms as well as paid platforms. And there are other channels you can leverage as well. However, bear in mind that some of these channels you do need to upgrade to a paid plan. So you can sell on online marketplaces, for example, across Google Shopping, TikTok, Amazon, eBay. You can quickly connect your store with those different platforms as well as sell on Facebook, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, as well as on Facebook Shop. Then if we come back up, you have these other apps that you can leverage. For example, you can actually turn your store into a mobile app. However, many of these features, including this one here, is a paid feature. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is navigate back over to Dashboard, and then click on my website here to view my website. And I'm happy with my new website. What I can do is click on one of these products, and you can see the product down here. I can navigate through the different pictures. As you can see, we have recommended products down here. And then I can go ahead and add to bag. I can also choose the different colors based on the options I added and then go to checkout. And then I can go ahead, add my details and pay with PayPal. As you can see, that is the journey that a customer will take when they're purchasing a product from my online store that we created for free with Equid. However, that is everything I wanted to cover in this beginner's tutorial, helping you create an e-commerce store completely for free. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Equid e-commerce website building tutorial for beginners. Now, if you have any questions about Equid, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.